So huge disclaimer here, but I'm definitely not a fitness influencer. I don't know what abs are unless we're talking about the word or definition. I do have access to Webster's through Google, but I can tell you I look a thousand times better than I did last year. Last year, I managed to drop over 40 pounds. I did the majority of this within the span of 90 days. I'd love to share with you guys four things that drastically impacted me and is so far allowing me to maintain this weight and form and continue to strive to get better. I'll be really brief with this because I don't believe in giving you guys my entire life story. It's like the weather outside today. It's uh, not that good, a uh, little cold and definitely a lot of bitter moments. But in a nutshell, we're gonna start off the top of mindset. Now, I seen this great picture the other day when I was scrolling through an Instagram and it showed what Las Vegas looked like pre the $10 billion industry it is today. Now, when you consider this, this was someone's vision and this was a lot of people's vision to get here. They saw things that we didn't quite see when you look out of that arid desert. In fact, most people, unless they're naive, would have assumed that that land probably was almost damn near worthless. I mean nuclear experiments, a bunch of other things, probably not an awesome area with heat index possibly killing you to build a hospitality mega city. But I digress. So my entire life, I saw myself more as a mathlete as opposed to an athlete. And I realized that this logic in itself inherently me up. I, uh, I like to be very blunt here. So we're gonna use the word as a great word. I'm gonna go ahead and beep it out for the YouTube algorithm. Now, um, I would like to say to anybody out there, don't hold your back on whatever goal you have by assuming that you are always as you are today. If you have a loftier vision for yourself, allow yourself to shift into that mindset. I adopted the idea that I'm an active person and since then, my steps have increased significantly. So number one, mindset. See your vision before fulfilling your vision. Number two, I realized that no gimmicks, no diet pills, no bullshit course could possibly move me forward long term. Long term, I love food, I love to eat more than anything. So it's not about the richness for me. So I found a lot of secret hacks of great food that I could stomach and tolerate that I could eat a ton of. No, a pound of strawberries is only about 150 calories. Um, one of my favorite dishes is actually taking a sweet potato making it kind of like a baked potato. Instead of using sour cream, pile on Greek yogurt. If you love sour cream, chances are you love Greek yogurt and your macros will love Greek yogurt. I always add zest. Um, a big, huge thing with the way I eat is I learned that butter, although very common in the American Midwest, probably isn't doing anyone any points and it's definitely not getting me closer to the word abs. So I have pivoted and I embrace spices fully. I go through a lot of Tabasco sauce. There's a lot of studies and you can find by people that are shredded talking about how awesome spices are and why and how they actually can ramp up your metabolism. All I would say is spices and caffeine are 100% friends of you. Now, pivoting here to number three, treats. Almost every day, guys, I got an ice cream sandwich. What I loved about that was it limited my portion. It allowed me to indulge in something I love, which is ice cream. And it was able to work for me in a way where I didn't feel like I was 100% throwing away things that I loved. Uh, second piece kind of volume relates to that, right? Because if you eat a lot, then you also eat something small, but something that you love, you don't feel like you're suffering that much. So even though I was rapidly losing weight, I was doing a lot of work, which we're gonna get to here in a second. I would tell you guys that I felt satisfied. A big part of it is having the mindset and finding ways to feel satisfied for yourself. Now, probably one of the biggest pieces here, number four, tracking calories. Tracking calories is something that I feel like is very underlooked. We find fun ways of assigning points to things and looking deeply into the weeds and stuff that we don't really need to. A pound is 3,500 calories. Yes, there is some 10 year old who probably knows the math that possibly is posted on Wikipedia too, that will show you guys that maybe, just maybe if you eat X, X and X, a pound could be like 3,400 calories, but keep things simple on you. A pound is 3,500 calories. Make sure that you're tracking your activity, logging everything. My Fitness Pal is great. That is a 100% free app. 
and it is something you can download for yourself and put on your phone. Because I know everyone always wants another app on their phone, but trust me guys, this one's good. Whatever device you love. So find something that works for you, have the mindset to do it. So these four things can get you to your goal, but to really maintain something, you gotta internalize it. You gotta have that ongoing discipline, not just to reach the finish line, but to continue to see past it or see yourself at the level that you maintain it. So it's that ongoingness. I am still going to the gym. I have been going to the gym for over six months. Yes, there are some weeks of work I go less. Yes, there are some weeks that I go more because I'm allowed to and I love doing it. I have now adopted the principle that I'm gonna be healthy. I've adopted the principle that I love to eat volume and I've maintained essentially kind of what I was doing, but I've been able to eat a lot more of what I love. So I have stayed right around hovering at 170. And for me as a five foot 11 male, this is a decent weight. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'd love to make more progress. I'd love to see the word abs. And if I ever do, I'll probably give people tips. I don't really know if I'll be the kind of guy though that's gonna just like flaunt my stuff with my shirt off because that's not me. But I'm definitely the kind of guy that's gonna root for you and tell you what worked for me. So find what works for you. Always listen to yourself and listen to your body. No, if you have the right mindset, you can really accomplish a lot more than you give yourself credit. I think a lot of people limit themselves myself included, more often than they need to. So good luck with your goals, and I hope you found this insightful.